<laughs> so check it out. There it is. <laughs> you want to see how I did it? <laughs> You're going to love this one. Hey, welcome to the channel. Let's get this list done. Time to mix up this pretty color. Uh-oh, let's get this going, boys. All right, now this is the candy part. This is what makes it all pretty. I felt the difference, I totally agree with you 100%. Where you just put it on your arm like that and you go and it takes the venom right out of your arm and it's done. So do you have any more friends with... with, with uh, that was okay. Yeah, I got a fan of spray bottle things that I haven't yet tried it, but I will. I mean bug zappers and all afternoon. It's called a pinch. Yeah, after you run that seating, you gotta tape it to the ground. You just tape it on the ground so like the dust doesn't blow up from under the car. Alright, I think that's as good as I'm gonna get it. Right. I have friends that did barn fake barn fine. Reality <laughs> TV is why I have trouble. Yeah. So what I found the best way to ensure that you get good coverage is you spray all the hard to reach places first, like your jams, your little edges, like I'm doing here. And then you go back and you paint the entire car because if you try to, uh, you know, get those things as you're spraying, you're gonna inevitably miss some stuff. So this way you're sure to get good coverage on, on your gaps and all, all of your little, little seams. And so that's just what I'm doing in case you're wondering. After you do have full coverage, then you start shooting the car. This blue is, is, is kind of a thin blue, so you can't just do it in one coat. A lot, of, a lot of times the base coat, I can usually just shoot one coat, but this is kind of a transparent blue. It doesn't give really good coverage on the first pass. So what I did is I went ahead and shot the whole car in blue, and then I went back and dusted in the, the other spots that, I, that, that didn't quite have the coverage that I wanted. That's my buddy Mike. Mike is my engine builder. Really like that guy, him right there. He's taking a video of me, and my buddy's taking a video of him taking a video of me. You know, we're like the three stooges. Me, him, and Chris, my buddy Chris. Chris has got some really cool cars. He's a good car guy. So you're probably wondering why I'm not wearing a mask. My mask apparently had screwed up. I use a nice 3M mask that really works pretty good, but somehow the the little thing get the little flaps in it got kind of clogged up, so it wasn't it was like work to breathe through, and I didn't realize it because it was slowly getting worse over time. I actually have a new papper system coming, which is just incredible. But wearing the mask, I was not getting enough oxygen, and I've noticed it that I've been getting headaches a lot lately, which is a symptom of low oxygen. So uh, I, I thought it was just, honestly, I've been painting for so long, I thought it might have been from lung function. But today I, I didn't wear a mask when I was painting, even though I shouldn't because I, I paint outside. But, you know, and I didn't get any problems. So I know that the new PAPR system is really going to make a big difference. There's my buddy Mike. Isn't that funny? That dude's crazy on a sprayed roach. So the candy, you have to make sure that you get the perfect coverage over the entire vehicle. That's what makes candy so tricky. And then here's the clear. Look at that. Doesn't that look beautiful? Wow. I God, I love this color. This is a special candy blue that I mixed up, and uh, I just absolutely love it. Love it. The sad news is, is this was only two coats clear, <laughs> so I have to. I had to scuff it, and I shot another coat of clear. I was I was feeling ill, so my wife, my beautiful wife, went out there and shot this video for me so I could see my car. Because I was like, can you please just go take a video? Oh man, that hurts so bad. So what I ended up doing is scuffing the car with 600 grit and 800 grit and then some 1000 grit too. Uh, that just makes the paint bite a lot better. You gotta get it nice and uh, smooth, had these little dust. I actually got more dust in the second than I got in the first coat. Look at that color. Four coats clear now. This thing doesn't do it justice, but man, this thing is blinging. I did get a little sweat drip going on the, on the trunk. Which kind of sucks, but I'll be able to buff it out, you know. It's just, but well, look at that, though. Look at that. That color right there. Well, bam. Oh, man. You gotta love candy. Oh, my. 
I know this doesn't get it on the, on the film, but man, oh man, this is so nice. Hey, thanks for following. Thanks for watching the video. Smash like if you would.